Hello everyone, welcome back to Speaking Spurs and me here and talking all things Tottenham and today we're talking about Fabio Paratici who has resigned after his appeal um, has been turned down. So if you haven't done so already please subscribe to the channel, don't forget to support it with a like and as always leave your comments below on this situation at Spurs that is getting out of hand, no sporting director, no manager, um, Conte's helper as our main coach and playing the exact same style of football uh, it's just it's a torrid time to be a Spurs fan really it's, I don't understand how a club that's run this poorly can be as high up as they are in the Premier League um, so let's just read the club statement that came out um, Yesterday, the 20th of April 2023, Fabio Paratici was unsuccessful with an appeal against his Italian Football Federation, FIGC, ban on certain football-related activities. FIFA ruled to extend the ban worldwide, and whilst there continues to be a dispute as to the scope and extent of the ban, the current worldwide ban prevents Fabio from fulfilling his duties as our managing director of football. Fabio has consequently taken the decision to resign from his position at the club with immediate effect to focus on his legal position in respect of the FIGC and FIFA rulings. Daniel Chairman Levy has said, This has been a stressful time for Fabio and his family. We wanted to ensure that we allowed for due process to be followed. Fabio is a man who lives and breathes football. We wish him well. As outlined in our end um, year-end results, we started several months ago to restructure our football operations and last week announced the appointment of Scott Munn as Chief Football Officer to head up all the departments. We shall continue to strengthen our football functions over the coming months. I mean, the club did the right thing, um, sticking by Paratici in this situation. You know, before the appeal was done, if you sack him, um, you have to place him on gardening leave and there has to be like proper legal grounds to sack him um, but at the end of the day you can't have a guy in there that can't actually perform the job that he's meant to do but does it mean we will never see Paratici at Tottenham again? Not too sure there is a possibility that after this ban if the club needs him to come back in they could renegotiate terms and bring him in uh, I'm sure there'll be many clubs looking at him at that stage um, so what does this actually mean for Spurs? Well, Paratici was meant to be heading our search for a new manager. Um, Harry Kane, also, his contract situation. Um, he would have been the man spearheading that as well to convince him to stay. Um, I think a lot of people feel that Scott Munn will kind of slot into that role and take over, but I don't think it's that simple. Scott Munn is a completely different uh, kettle of fish. And there is a video coming up on him uh, to talk about sort of everything about Scott Munn's career so far and um, what he can offer Spurs. From what I'm hearing, Paratici will need to be replaced. So Scott Munn will not slot into that role. He will be replaced. And it looks like that's not going to be from anyone internally. There is going to be an external search to replace him. Um, and I, I assume that would be one that they'd have to do quite quickly because whoever comes in will have to be in the search for a new manager which is becoming stressful in itself. We're being linked with anyone and everyone. Um, Pochettino is someone the fans very much want. From what I understand, the club haven't actually spoke to him. Um, Nagelsmann, I don't think is going to happen. Luis Enrique looks like he won't be going to Chelsea. Um, interestingly, Chelsea are talking to Pochettino. That one's going to sting if he gets that job. Um, and could that mean we see Harry Kane jump across to Chelsea as well. Uh, Luis Enrique is someone that I think they're very interested in, um, but I hold reservations as to whether that's a, a good appointment because it's another one that I should imagine is a short-term appointment, um, probably another 18 months and we'll see him disappear. The Vincent Company one, uh, it's believed that they're going to be offering him a, a new contract and actually from a from a Vincent Company standpoint, if I was him, I probably wouldn't leave either. Uh, yes, Spurs are a bigger club, but however, we're in a bit of free fall at the moment. The club is a complete mess inside out. And with Paratici now gone as well, it makes things a bit messier. Um, and he should take his first stab in the Premier League with Burnley. He did a fantastic job in the Championship, changed the whole style of football, the way they play. Um, and maybe we can be that next step for him 
after he's at least given them a crack in the, the Premier League. And it will give us as fans an opportunity to see what he's like in the Premier League as a manager. Um, will Still <laughs> is somebody that we're being linked with as well. Um, the football manager game sensation. Uh, look, he's done a fantastic job where he's at at the moment. Um, obviously, he hasn't got all his licenses, and they were paying hefty fines of like what twenty-two grand or twenty grand, something like that, every time he took charge of a game because of not having those licenses. Um, he's only thirty years old. Very exciting. Um, do I think we'll take a punt on him? Maybe not, but I believe there had been conversations between him and Paratici. So, uh, from what I gathered, Paratici, whilst the appeal was going through, was able to. Re resume some of his uh, tasks so he would have been speaking to some managers but look it's just an absolute mess at the moment where we're at is not great it's going to be a big big summer coming up so what have we got to look forward to from me um so there will be the video talking about scott munn and what he's got to offer um there's going to be more in-depth discussions about the managers we've been linked with um talking about their past, what they've currently been doing, um, who I think is the the right fit from what I hear from other fa other fans, um, who they think would be the right fit for the club. Um, it's a very mixed bag of, of people's thoughts. Our fan base is just it's very, very divided on the club the direction should take at the moment. So it's, it's just it's a strange time. It's quite depressing reporting on Spurs at the moment, which is probably why you're not getting as many videos from me, but I am going to ramp it up. Um, Newcastle up next. Um, there will be a mini video on them to talk about things and how things all could have been different if we did just won a couple of these games against Southampton and um, uh, Everton. Would have changed a lot. Um, obviously, we got lucky against Brighton and then got put back in our place the following week. So... You know, with those victories, to then, if we were to beat Newcastle, Liverpool, Manchester United, it puts us in a very strong position. So, especially with Newcastle dropping points the week before. Um, and what's going to be even more bittersweet is if we go ahead and if we beat Newcastle, Liverpool, Manchester United and, and then don't finish in the top four because of missed chances against some teams down the bottom, your Bournemouths and, and teams like that. It's very, very frustrating that we can... Poor performances out the bag when it really matters against the big teams, but against these teams down the bottom, we just don't ever seem to be able to be up for it. So we'll talk about some things to do with that as well. So that's your news for today. Paratici gone. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. And until next time, come on you Spurs.